Hello you all beautiful Taurus, uh, welcome to my channel, I'm Raj, welcome to Radko Tarot and uh, in this old video um, we're going to talk about your week, November 30th to December 6th, 2020 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, just to put it out there that if you do want a personal reading with me, if you are interest interested in such a thing uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website and on the very front page of my website you're going to find full list of my services and as well their pricing. Uh, also, if you do enjoy the way that I do read tarot and you want to learn to read the same way, I'm offering as well a tarot classes that you can find under the tarot classes section and to read that way and even to surpass me, uh, you don't need to have any gift, it's just all about knowledge. So anybody can do it, okay? So with that being said, let's move to your uh, reading here. And the first card which does describes the topic of your week, we do have the Page of Pentacles. Moving next, that will be the energies that are supporting and feeding the topic. That will be the Nine of Wands, followed by the third one, which represents the challenges that you will and can overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the Seven of Pentacles followed by the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week and that is the Knight of Cups. Afterwards, it is the way the others sees you, what they see in you when they look at you. How do you look like in the eyes of others? And that will be the King of Cups, uh, followed by the obstacles that uh, are gonna hold you back throughout the week and that will cause problems to you. That will be the King of Wands, Afterwards, we do have the positive aspects. That is what is going to help you moving forward. And we do have the Knight of Pentacles. And the last one, that is going to be the guidance that the Tarot is giving to you or how is the best way to move through the week. That is the Eight of Cups. Quite dappled, very colorful read. It is what we do have here, cramped with people. Okay, so just by on the first glance, at least you're not going to be, not exactly lonely, but I don't know how to say it. You're going to be amongst the crowd, all right? Uh, okay, so uh, moving with the first two cards here. They always go in pair because one feeds the other. And uh, the week will be very narrow. Uh, in a sense of that you're not going to do many stuff at once, but instead uh, you are to devote yourself into a one particular thing. Either that may be a person or a project or just, for example, renovating your home. But, but it's, in generally, you're going to place one thing as a, a high priority and devoting your week to it. You may ask yourself why? Well, because it has, it has the most value out there. It works the most. It is the thing that is going to make your life better by a large margin, more than anything else at that given moment. And with the energies that feeds it, it is that you can do it in a, so many ways and that will be the beauty of it, okay? That if you don't like it that way, it can become the other way around or the third possible version as well. So you also can, uh, how can I say, unfold, if you will, uh, your creative vision, your creative expression, all is going to be within your hands. And on top of it, you do have the necessary experience to see it through, all right? And to do it exactly the way you're imagining it and the way your vision tells you. On a more practical level as well, and seeing how the other cards are going forward, it's very, very possible here that um, the love is gonna strike you out of nowhere and it's gonna come from a place that you probably did not expect it. It's a place that you already know. Um, in our country, we say to the marrow of your bones, right? And uh, it's, it's from a friend of yours. So just, I'm, I'm throwing this out there just so you don't get yourself surprised. If, you know, through the week, you start getting more involved and in, how can I say, more connected with somebody that's, is just a, a friend and after this week 
it may not be just a friend. So uh, moving next, we do have the challenges and that will be the Seven of Pentacles. And a uh, couple of challenges it is what we do have with the Seven of Pentacles. Now the first challenge, that is the most important challenge with the Seven of Pentacles, it is about finding the worth. So I said that you're going to devote yourself at the start of the week, something that has the biggest value out there. And the Seven of Pentacles here, it, it plays a role as a challenge. Well then, what's that thing? Uh, because probably not the whole, not you're not going to preoccupy yourself with it from the very Monday of the week. Okay, I, I'm saying Monday because the for me the week starts from mon from Monday. So the very Monday of the week, maybe you're going to spend a couple of days thinking about it. You you feel that you have to change something, that you start doing something meaningful for you, right? What is that? Is your relationship the most meaningful thing for you? Is your career or is that project or is this client or is that friend the most meaningful thing for you? And you will spend a fair portion of time thinking about it. And that is going to be the one of the challenges, making your mind about that thing, which leads to the second challenge. And that is about second guessing yourself. Uh, that is... Uh, and an affliction that you just have to knock off your mind. How you're gonna do it, it comes with the guidance card, but for now, before we get to the guidance card, because it's gonna become way too scampering around, you know, jumping from one card to another, for now, just take it as you have to knock it off your mind. Uh, so moving next, we do have uh, the uh, gifts and the blessings that uh, you get to enjoy. That will be the uh, Knight of Cups. So we do have a very, very faithful companion here. And if that's your friend, um, obviously he... Well, let's, not, let, let's just address the elephant in the room. Throughout this week, that friend is going to see you as everything he or she ever wants it, okay? And it's very important if you do want something to happen to capitalize on the moment. I don't know, maybe you're gonna do something or maybe you're gonna say something that is going to snap a thing in their mind and make them see you as everything they have ever wanted, okay? And if you do really want things to develop, you have to seize the moment. Like I said, it's a challenge. Do not second guess yourself, okay? Uh, and uh, with uh, that, uh, it comes the well, King, the Knight of Cups. I don't like that card, and I'm gonna tell you why, especially when it comes to love. And I'm gonna tell you why. Knight of Cups, they're not bad people, just on the contrary, they are very genuine and very, very pure, sincere, and innocent people to their own de detriment. They have the tendency to promise you everything they want to give you and it comes from the bottom of their heart. The only problem is that they may not have the potential to do it right now. They, they may promise you the world down in your knees, but how they're going to do it, they don't care at that particular moment. They just want to see you happy. How? They have no clue. because And, and that's why sometimes the Knight of Cups comes as a... Um, a person that beguiles you to believe into things that are not gonna happen. It's not like he lied to you in purpose, but he's just, you know, he's just a big talker. That's that. But as it comes as a gift, uh, as a uh, gifts and blessings that you get to enjoy, uh, that person is going to um, feed you up emotionally. I don't know how to say it. it it's like feeling their presence. Uh, that is going to make you keep up going, moving forward, be being determined, if you will, believing that the best is yet to come, and so on and so forth. Um, another thing about this card here as a gift and blessings, uh, and that is on a more practical level, and is that uh, your results will be uh, reciprocal to the effort you give. So it, there will be no such uh, situation where you put a lot into your situation, into your relationship, for example, or into your career, uh, and you end up being deprived of any results whatsoever. It's just you put a lot, you gain a lot, okay? You put nothing into it, you're gonna get exactly what you put it in, nothing. 
Uh, so moving next, uh, that will be how people see you. And that is a little bit worrisome. This, uh, if we're talking about relationships here, this is the king of cups. Uh, emotionally, people are going to see you very closed. And it is like you do want to express yourself or like you do have the need to express yourself and to just scream out loud what you feel and toward whom you are feeling it to um, and generally lay it all out but in the same time you are submerging it it is like you're not allowing it to to come out from your throat that is how people are going to see you now believe uh, remember that is how they see you whether it's true or not and if you kind of like start seeing that or feeling that people are acting strange that is because there is a, a misunderstanding what your true situation is and how people see you but all in all um, if we exclude this uh, emotional status here or their impression of your emotional status uh, people are going to have uh, a lot of trust in you because they're going to see you as a very responsible and as well um, some form of type of a professional person that uh, first off keep up to their word and as well doesn't just take decisions lightly for, for, for you. How they see you is that for you throughout this week, uh, making any kind of decision, even the smallest one, is a big deal, okay? That you do put a thought behind it and that you are ready to take a full responsibility of it. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the obstacles or what is going to hold you back. And we do have another person that this time about, that is the King of Wands. And that's a big issue because King of Wands they are driven by their ambition and when you do have an ambitious it's not even an enemy but kind of like crossing paths with someone ambitious that their ambition is contrary to yours that's a real issue now king of wands they you you can't reason with these people the only way you get along with the king of wands is if you do follow that is the only way you get along. Uh, well, not the only, one of the ways you get along. The other way, uh, and that is true for the relationship type, okay, or for the relationship narrative, is if you do pose a challenge. This one, they, they do like to chase. They want to see, they, they want you to make them run for their meal, run for their money. Uh, I, I believe this is how you say it. Uh, but in career, they are very aggressive. They are very, um, how can I say, ruthless, if you will, even more ruthless than the king of swords. Because for them, it is like a, uh, that aggression is a sport aggression. They may see no reason behind it, okay? They may, they may see no, um, no benefit whatsoever to, to be against you, but they are going to do it just because it's a matter of, of ego and just because it's a matter of, uh, of sport aggression, that competition. While the King of Swords, while they are ruthless, if they see that they are not going to gain anything from it or that is not going to solve anything, they just let it go. So you do have a, a big obstacle, that individual. So how you can overcome this obstacle? Be a challenge. Step for yourself, stand your ground, show them that they cannot overpower you and intimidate you because that's their game. They do intimidate. That is what they do. Uh, on a more practical level with the King of Wands, uh, you may find it a bit challenging to enjoy life uh, in, a, in a sense of enjoying the beverage at the end of the evening, uh, you know, enjoying your time with friends and these kind of stuff. And it's kind of understandable because like we said at the start of the reading, you do have a big decision to make or I like to figure out a big thing for yourself what is that that poses most value for you and how you can enjoy yourself if your mind is occupied with such an unimportant question uh, moving next we do have what truly helps you and that will be the knight of pentacles so 
We do have another person here, Knight of Pentacles is a guide when it comes into that position, someone who, uh, it, it's not pointing you the direction, you have to find your direction, but as soon as you do it, that is someone who gives you the recipe at least for the first step, helps you with the plan, you know, and how to get there in generally. And also, this person is gonna help you with uh, your determination, uh, but not like the uh, Knights of Cups. Knights of Cups, uh, this is the uh, Knights of Pentacles, I'm sorry, I don't know what I said, it's lapsus. But in any way, um, Knights of Cups that we have beforehand into the fourth position, they emotionally support you and through it, it boosts your determination. While here, this one with just the practical examples, if you will, uh, uh, physical examples, they uh, prove to you that what you are trying to do and where you're trying to get, it is not that hard for as long as you are consistent and for as long as you are determined and you don't leave it uh, aside for a moment, you can definitely get there, okay? And uh, the last one here that we do have, that is uh, the guidance the tarot is offering to you and we do have the uh, Eight of Cups, it's pretty easy. And the guidance is, uh, that's whatever doesn't want to happen, it's not for you. So whenever the, the, the situation becomes unfortunate, disappointing, leave it be and move on. For every perspective moving forward throughout the week and after that, for a certain amount of time, how long is going to be uh, individual for every single one of you, but is going to be brighter and brighter and uh, there is no point you wasting your time into uh, enterprises and endeavors that can get you just so far while you if you just let them go and, and leave them as they are um, you can get something uh, not, not get something but involve yourself into something that is gonna get you even further so that being said Taurus uh, this was your weekly general tarot reading guys Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.